I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 125. And today, we're actually going to talk about Will Smith. Uh, best shape in my life, right? He's got a YouTube series out and he just launched his book a few days ago and uh, his his memoirs, his autobiography. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Will Smith, um, because, mainly because of his work ethic, but also some of his philosophies. Now, of course, I don't subscribe to every one of his philosophies. Uh, so I'll just put that out there. Um, but I've learned that you gotta, you know, chew the meat and spit out the spit out the bones, right? Or, or, or another way of saying that is eat the fruit and spit out the seeds. But that that so so the thing is, you can learn from something, but you don't have to agree with it all of it, if that makes sense, right? And so um, there's a lot to learn from somebody like Will Smith. Um, and you guys have heard me share uh, the story uh, of of the wall. And it's, I love the fact that it's in the beginning of his book. Um, but I shared that, you know, in like some of the first episodes of, of the Cold Freedom podcast, because I thought it's such a great story. And, and, and I'll just kind of give you the short version of it here. But, you know, his dad knocks down this wall to this building. I think, he, yeah, he owned the building. And um, him and his brother, he, he wanted them to put the wall back together, brick by brick. And they're looking at this big old rubble of bricks and, and, and all this other stuff. They're like, how in the world are we going to put this wall together? And, you know, they were so focused on the wall. But the dad made a very, very, very interesting point. They said, don't worry about the wall. Focus on a brick and lay each brick as perfectly as you can lay it. Right? Only focus on one brick. And that's what I talk about a lot on this podcast is only focus on today. Think about the compound effect, the compounded interest, the slight edge of just getting 1% better every single day, right? Just continue to work on your craft, get better. Like you really want to be free. Okay, what are you going to do today about that? And then what are you going to do tomorrow, right? So so that that just really aligns with my thought process and how I, how I feel and how I think. Right. So so that's one thing that I love about the book is how it even started out, started out. And, um, you know, most most books, I don't read the uh, the introduction, but I was just, you know, so captivated. By the way, dope cover, <laughs> like one of the best covers of a book that I've seen. Uh, so but 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 again, but, you know, the, the series that he's doing uh, that, well, that he did. And it's genius when you think about it from so many levels in terms of marketing and goals and things like this. So, uh, so he he did a movie for um you know the the Venus and Serena movie right um called Richard or something like that. Uh, don't don't quote me. I, I got the, the 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 name of it wrong. But um but he 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 basically did that movie and he had he was required to gain weight for this role. And of course because of COVID, um you know <laughs> all of us gained some COVID weight, even including myself. And, um, and so, you know, the thing is, uh, he, he set two goals. Number one was to finish his book, right. And also to, um, to lose 20 pounds in 20 weeks. And, you know, this, this guy is, 
it, he just reminds me so much of me because I'm so driven. I'm so like, give me a challenge and I'm going to do it. Right. And, 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 and then he does it on camera. Like he does it and showcases it to the whole world. I mean, you know, his, his, his uh, the whole situation went viral when he was just like, um, you know, showing his weight and his dad bod, so to speak, of, of how he looked. And he said he looked he's in the worst shape of his life. And and his goal is to get into the best shape of his life. And I'm going to just be honest with you all. Um, I, so I've been grinding and grinding and grinding. I'm working on some goals right now, but I haven't been working out. You know, I, I, I slacked off. So, you know, hold me accountable, folks. Uh, you know, I haven't I haven't worked out in a little while. And um, I've, I've, I've been fluctuating with weight as well, back and forth, not not in a real bad way, uh, because, you know, I, I don't the, the good thing is I don't gain a lot of weight. And it, that's that's part of my problem <laughs> is that, I, I, you know, in the past, I could eat whatever and I really wouldn't gain a whole lot. But, you know, uh, coming up on 40 <laughs> and uh, in, in January and that's kind of a big deal to me. So I know some of you guys are like, "Oh, come on, you're a young buck, right?" I I know how that goes, but um, but but to me, look, I'm about to be 40, right? I'm about to leave my 30s and enter my 40s, and so I want to be I want to be in great shape, right? And so, but I haven't been doing anything about it, right? I've been focusing on one goal and and totally neglecting. Some, some of the other goals that I have, right? And so I have a tendency to do that sometimes. I'll, I'll have like straight tunnel vision. And it's like, if I'm focused on one goal, nothing else matters. And that sometimes is my strength, but it's also my weakness because, uh, you know, I could I could tend to neglect a few things. Um, and, and that's something I always got to be mindful of. But again, this is why I really align with some of Will Smith's, uh, his work ethic, his discipline. It's funny because I'm reading two books now. Uh, I, you know, I'm reading his book, but I'm also reading that discipline book by Brian Tracy that I mentioned. Uh, so it's great. It's perfect. It's a great combination because um, it's just a reinforcement to stay disciplined and even get disciplined. Like, like, look, I got to at least do 10 or 20 push-ups a day and some sit-ups and some dips right and, and do some walking I haven't walked in forever so i gotta get my life right i mean it's november <laughs> and um you know we're gonna be up on the middle of november soon and then next thing you know december then january so uh, you know i don't i don't know that i need to lose 20 pounds per se uh, by my birthday but but i certainly want to be in better shape right and so um anyway this, this this series on YouTube, you know, go check it out. You, you'll get some great insight. That's one thing I love about Will Smith is um, he's so insightful, right? Um, it, you know, he, he's so insightful on many levels. So, I mean, it, there's, there's some depth to him. And that's what I love about him is he's not just surface level, but he's got some serious depth in terms of impact and effectiveness and growth and just being better, right? not just entertaining, but I mean, someone who can really entertain, but then teach you at the same time and change your life. Right. And so um, anyway, one of the reasons why I want to talk about it is because um, <laughs> a couple things. So here, here's why this relates to code freedom, because I'm looking at the YouTube, uh, you know, episodes and I'm, I'm not finished with it. I, I got to finish watching it. Um, it's like, I want to watch it, but I want to read the book too. <laughs> And so, and, and then I, I want to look at some stock charts, <laughs> right, for tomorrow and get on it. Today was a horrible day in the stock market for me, uh, but tomorrow will be better, right? But anyway, I digress. Um, so, so, so the thing is, I'm watching the, the series, and it's interesting because I'm just thinking to myself, wow, th- here's a man who has unlimited money, unlimited time can hire the best coaches in the world, can get all the best equipment in the world, right? Um, now he's doing it on, on, on he's, he's filming it all to, for, for his own accountability system, really. I mean, it, it's, 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 it's twofold because it promotes the book, of course, but it also 
um, gives him a sense of accountability because he's like, look, if I'm a record, I can't fail. I got to make it happen, right? And so all these are positive things that I'm looking at and observing and things of that nature. Uh, by the way, it also kind of lines up with what, the, what we talked about a few episodes ago in terms of branding and, um, you know, just showcasing your life, showcasing who you are. But um, it just it just blew my mind because I'm just thinking to myself that is that is cold freedom all day long, right? Like, be, can, can we be in a position? And put it like this: some of us, right, we aren't in the best shape that we we want to be in. We're not eating the best things we should eat. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that we just are not doing or haven't done or just aren't doing as good as we could do, but what if we could get in a situation, right, where we focus so hard on our freedom and we got ourselves to a level, maybe not on a Will Smith level, right, uh, who's worth millions and millions and millions of dollars through all his movies and even his episodes, right? Uh, I mean, I, I, I talk about it in my um, in my business every day, but look, Will Smith, I mean, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was aired over 20 years ago, I think. And it's on every single day, and he still gets paid from it. And that, it's just, it's just what it is, right? So you know, maybe we won't be a multi, multi, multi millionaire like he is. Now, I'm not saying you won't. You can be, because I plan to be, right? So we still can be. Um, however, uh, he's he's on another level, right? But my point with that is the goal to get to a place where we can hire the best trainers, like hire the best relationship people, hire the best t- trainers, get the best equipment, and then have the time to focus on it and not have to worry about what's going on with your bank account, what's going on with your bills, and and, and not having to consult a, a boss as well. You know, that's how we go, how we how we roll here. Um and then they get on a plane and go to Dubai, and he he climbs up the stairs. He walks the stairs 160 uh, uh, floors to the tallest, um, the the Burj Khalifa, right? The tallest building in the world. And and isn't this for an overachiever? This is how I feel sometimes. Is he gets all the way to the top, stair of, of of all the way to 160, walks all the way up, and then is like, wait a minute, this isn't even good enough. <laughs> because there's still more to go. So then he climbs up to the very, 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 like the end of it, like the highest you could possibly go of the building. And 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 that's just, you know, th- that just blows my mind. And so, uh, you know, we got to have that kind of discipline. We got to have that kind of drive and that determination. We don't have to overdo it. Um, I know I have a tendency to do it, but um, but but we have to have some high level of drive that says, look, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing what everybody else is doing. I'm focusing on what I need to do. I'm going to do it. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to get in the way. And hey, it may be hard, but I'm still going for it. I'm going to be disciplined, so disciplined. I'm going to discipline my disappointment. So I'm going to have disappointments, but I'm going to discipline those things. I'm going to discipline my disappointments and I'm going to keep moving anyway. Right. And that's just, that, that's, that starts off with the mindset. That's an attitude, right? Once you have that attitude, the actions are easy to follow, right? And so, um, you know, I, I just want to share some of that, just some of my thoughts on that, because I just think it's such a powerful illustration of what it takes to, 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 to be free, what it takes to be to, for a cold freedom, right? What it takes to be in that position. And so, um, you know, we could learn so much from Will Smith. And again, like I said, uh, I love him as a uh, as a person, as an actor, as a, a, a thought leader and all these things. I don't subscribe to everything Will Smith. Uh, but like I said, there's so much of him that is worth noting and so much that we could learn from it. Look, I feel like I could learn from a five-year-old. I could learn from a kid. So I look for places where I can glean from and learn from. And um, like I said in many episodes before, you could even learn from failures, right? You, you can learn from what not to do, from you know how certain people live their lives and just different things like that. So, again, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this episode 125. We're talking here about Will Smith and uh, you know losing 20 pounds in 20 weeks 
I'm just curious. You guys think you could do something like that? Um, you know, would you like to be in the best shape of your life? Right? I mean, uh, that's just it's fascinating. It's, it's, it's cool. It's fascinating. And it, it just reminds me, even right now, that it's grind time because there's some things I still got to get done before this year is out. And uh, I, I got to turn it up. So th- that's that's me. Like, I've, I've always been like like in, in if if we're talking about work ethic I, I will beat you all day long on work ethic right because i will outwork anybody and that's just that's just my drive it's like i'll i'll do more i'll i'll do what i need to do right um and and that's one thing that i really that really resonates with me uh when as it relates to will smith so anyway again i hope you enjoy this episode can't wait to see you on the next one and we will see you all over the top Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.